In the Epistemic Games Group, we build brain games. Games that teach players how to solve real problems the way real people do. Students today need to learn to solve complex problems. But how can we measure complex thinking? This video looks at one way to tell whether the kind of thinking that happens in a brain game is the same as professionals do in the real world. First of all, to understand this, it's very hard to measure complex reasoning and thinking skills um, in environments that are reasonably authentic. The kind of data that we're looking at isn't just right or wrong responses or a simple essay to be evaluated, but people's patterns of actions in evolving situations. In Science.net, middle school age players become science reporters covering stories for an online science news magazine. Based on two ethnographic studies of journalism capstone courses, the game features key practices from the profession. Copy editing is one of the most important. Copy edits in Science.net were given to players, but were supposed to have the key characteristics of feedback that real journalists get in training in a practicum class. From the journalism copy edits, we identified 18 key elements of journalism present in the practicum. Using epistemic network analysis, we created a reference frame of professional copy editing feedback. We then coded the copy edits in science.net using the same system, and as a control, we also used the same system to code the feedback on papers from a graduate level psychology course. We then used epistemic network analysis again to calculate the distance that each story was from the professional reference frame. What we found was that the distances from the reference frame to the frames from the game stories were not significantly different from the distances from the reference frame to the stories in the journalism practicum. The papers in the psychology course, on the other hand, were significantly further away from the reference frame. We can further extend this using network visualization methods to explore the patterns and strengths of connections between frame elements, providing a richer and more intuitive sense of the similarities and differences in writing feedback between these different venues. In other words, using this technique makes it possible to assess the degree to which the game replicated a key part of professional training. Epistemic network analysis gives us a theoretically grounded way of showing that an epistemic game, Science.net, is, in fact, epistemic. Remember, epistemic games are brain games. Games that teach the kind of thinking kids need in a changing world.